What about a place with its own dock? I like the sound of that. Uh, hmm. We're not imagining things, right? I keep pinching myself over how well Deception Stark did at IPO. You, Mrs. Corbin, are one very wealthy woman. And what's mine is yours, Mr. Corbin. We're a team, which means that we can live in the home of our dreams. What are you talking about? There's the happy couple. Whoa, Sonny. Yo! Dante deck you after I left the jail? No, it wasn't Dante, but it's not important. <laughs> uh, so I just want to congratulate uh, you on your marriage to my cousin. Um, you know, welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to the family, right? Yeah. Phyllis, do you know Brando and Sasha? Oh, you've been to the pub a few times. My staff appreciates the large tips you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Brando's my cousin. And he and Sasha just got married. <gasps> Congratulations. Your drinks are on the house. Oh, oh, it's we... always wonderful to see such a happy couple. Thank you. We, we do appreciate it. Oh, we do. <laughs> Thank you. I heard you lost your son. You have my sincere condolences. Brando and I are planning a long life together. We're looking for our first home. <laughs> Well, if you need any help, just ask. But since Deception did so well in the IPO, you're not going to have any problems. And I am a happy investor myself, so good luck with your house, honey. You feel bad for Brando and Sasha, don't you? Mm-hmm. You never get over losing a child. But at least Sasha and Brando have each other. They can focus on building a life together. Yeah, they seem to be doing good. So, how, how's, you, how's everything going over there? Well, look around. Business is booming. No, that's not what I asked. I'm talking about, like, Port Charles. How's, how's life? Hmm. I'm amazed how quickly it's begun to feel like home. You don't miss your friends in, in Nixon Falls? I do. But when I go back to visit, they feel more like the past. Port Charles is my present. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's good. What are you up to? <laughs> Actually, Phyllis, um, I have a favor to ask you.